Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, today I'm gonna play a little bit of High Rise City. Um, I already have quite a big city going here. Um, if you've never seen the game, never heard about the game, the game is pretty much like uh, City Skylines which is obviously a very well-known game, but I actually like this game more than City Skylines. And it's cheaper, significantly cheaper, actually. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much like City Skylines. Uh, almost exactly the same game, but this game does quite a, a few things that, uh, in my opinion, uh, improves on the, the formula of uh, City Skylines. You can see I've got quite a big base already and um, I've bought a couple of extra plots already. It's similar to City Skylines where you buy plots. So you, you start with one plot or one one map block and then you just expand and expand more and more. And um, you have like mines and stuff like that. Clay mines, you have coal mines, gem mines, copper mines, iron mines, uh, oil you have farms, I have a whole bunch of farms, that's a fruit farm, that's a cattle farm, and if you actually zoom in, then uh, you can, will see the graphics is actually really nice, you can actually see the trees and that kind of stuff, you can see the people working on the farm, even though I, I paused the, the uh, game right now, but I will show you guys a little bit later that you can actually see the people walking around and, and all of that kind of stuff. It's actually a really nice, um, high quality uh, environmental design and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, um, I'm about 15 hours into this game already. And uh, I just decided that I will um, stream the game a little bit today and uh, pretty much give you guys my opinion on the game i'm probably not going to do a full review video on the game normally i would do a review video on the game but um my opinion on the game is already pretty much set in stone so i don't even need to do my traditional review video where i um basically go into details on on what i like about the game what i don't like about the game like really it, it's a very easy conclusion for me and that is that the game is vastly cheaper than city skylines i mean city skylines the full city skylines costs what like 200 dollars maybe more which is absolute insanity and um, this game is simply better it's uh, designed by a uh, more in my opinion moral company so obviously the uh, developers behind or the publisher i should say because it, it might not be the developer's problem but the publisher behind um the skylands is immoral in my opinion so you really shouldn't give money to them or support them due to their DLC practices. And uh, this game so far, like, it's just, just the game, the actual game, not even talking about the price or anything like that. Even though, like I said, the price is vastly better. Just the game is so much better than the Skylines, in my opinion. Just, just better with many, many things as I will hopefully show you today. Um, but like I said, I'm not probably going to be doing a review video on the game because, I mean, really at the end of the day, the only reason why I would do a review video is if I haven't played the game yet. Like, I obviously do first impression review videos mostly. And with this, my opinion is very much not first impression i'm already 16 hours into the game so um it's very much not 
uh, a first impression type review that I would be doing. But yeah, like I say, if you want to know my opinion, my opinion is that this game is better than um, uh, City Skylines. And City Skylines is pretty much widely regarded as the best game um, of this type in the genre. So that's that's pretty pretty high praise. If a game can be better than City Skylines, and City Skylines is good. Like there's nothing wrong really with City Skylines. The game is good. But it's just the monetization practices that are really really bad for this game uh, for that game now there's a couple of issues like here uh, first off like i already have this massive city built but um they recently implemented um electricity so previously you didn't need to have electricity throughout your entire city um it was just like you had to build the 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 power stations and you had to build the um wind generators all of that kind of stuff but you didn't actually need to have an electricity grid or a power grid so you just built the, the power and it was automatically distributed throughout your city and then recently they implemented the system where you need to have substations and each of the substations need to be connected so um that's what i'm doing right now i need to now get my entire city electrified uh, because i have this massive city and no electrification whatsoever no 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 power grid um for the city so that's what i'm gonna be doing for the next couple of minutes and then after i've done that then i can actually go into more detail with regards to um but whatever you know more details about the game i obviously want to show off the game a little bit this thing over here i don't know what it is but some buildings are high like higher than the normal buildings and then you can't build over them so you can't build a uh wire for instance a, a, a telephone pole or a, or a, whatever you want to call this a pylon a power pylon or an electricity pylon you can't build it over certain buildings which is irritating so i need to find a way to connect this grid over here with this grid over here and the game is not making it very easy for me because these as well these blue buildings they are also high because they have these uh cranes or whatever those are i'm not sure what those are so I can't uh, connect, uh, I, I can't build anything over them. So that also makes my life difficult. Basically this entire area here has those blue blue buildings. So I'm going to have to build around them. Which isn't super difficult, it's just a little bit of a pain. But we will do that. You see now I've gone around those. So that's fine. Now I just need to find out. I'm still getting blocked. I guess these buildings as well are blocking me. We can build over there. But now something else is blocking me. Maybe these buildings. Yeah, some of these buildings just outright block you. I also don't know if I can build across these. Can I? Looks like those block me as well. Yes. So these block as well. So I'm going to have to go all the way around probably. Can't go from here to there, can I? Nope. Can't do that. Can't do that. Yeah, this pylon system it really just makes the game more obtuse to be honest um like i said i i previously built this entire city 
without any issues you know no um no no uh, electricity grid or power grid was required and then they implemented a new update which um, now you need to have this um the system you know the ele electricity and all of that kind of stuff I'm just not a huge fan of it too close okay bloody hell uh can i okay now the game is gonna save um because my city is as big as it is um saving takes like 20 seconds 25 seconds sometimes so um that's just one of those things when you have such a big city you are going to um run into longer um saving times you know because the game has to save more stuff you know and then like there it gave me an error that the pylons are too close to each other because they weren't connected but now i connected them and now there is no issue so there's small little bugs like that as well in the game which obviously um they'll need to be fixed but the game just recently released so um there's very much still a lot of um stuff that they can improve on you know because the game just literally recently released and if you compare that to a game like city skylines which is like how old is that game seven years eight years i think it's from 2015 or something like that and um that game just has so much more time or has had so much more time to be uh, polished and to have bug fixes and all of that kind of stuff even though that game still has bugs um you just really can't compare the two um to each other because the one game has firstly a lot more money behind it obviously uh like i said from the the insane um dlc practices and then also a lot more time because the game uh, city skylines has been around for a much longer time come on why can't i connect these is the game freezing oh unreal engine crash okay so the game just crashed that unfortunately does happen literally just as i was busy talking about um bugs and that kind of stuff that happens you know so that is unfortunately um like i say the game just recently released so there is going to be um crashes and and, and uh, bugs and that kind of stuff let me just do this quickly so that you guys can have something to look at while i restart the game quickly uh that's uh, quite honestly the first crash that i've had in probably four hours probably so it's really not um as if it happens on a constant basis you know okay there we go game is starting up again and uh, quite honestly this game has the best um tutorial that i've ever seen in any game like the tutorial of this game is just amazing it's a really really good tutorial um i will also be able to show off the game's loading um mechanic i guess i can say a loading feature because i really like this game's loading feature when you load a map it shows you here at the bottom right the progress that you have made on your map 
So it shows from the beginning of the map until your current progress. And it's just really, really cool. You can see there how my city started out two hours. And then as the game loads, you can just see the, the map expanding more and more and more. And it literally takes screenshots, essentially, of your city uh, every couple of minutes. Like every five, six, seven minutes, it takes a screenshot of your city. And then when you're loading your city, it shows you the full progress of your city. So I just really like that. It's a really cool um, mechanic. Once again, something that... Uh, that the Skylands does not have. Okay, so we just need to redo this little thing over the year. Fortunately, it's not going to take that long because I now know the route that I want to go. So we went down here. Did we go around? Yes, I think we went around. Or did we go through here? can't remember. No, I don't think we went through here. Yeah. Because this building basically collides with anything. So you have to go down here. But yeah, I, I really don't like this pylon system. I really don't think that it adds anything good to the game. I just would have preferred it if the game kept the... Uh, the non pylon system basically because there was nothing wrong with it like i liked the fact that the game wasn't obtuse and the fact that you didn't need to um worry about a, an ele electricity grid and all of that kind of stuff uh, why doesn't this one want to connect to that one like if you really want realism you know then they, it, it's fine having a, a, a electricity grid system type thing like that you know with the pylons and the substations that you need to build and all of that kind of stuff but um quite honestly i don't think the game really benefits from that level of realism you know, I, I would just prefer it if, like, I, I mean, it's a it's a video game, you know, like, just a video game doesn't always need to be um, super realistic in all aspects, you know. If you make a game too realistic, it's, it's not, it's not fun. Now, why doesn't this one want to connect over there? It did allow me to connect them previously, and now it doesn't want to allow me to connect them. You see, like the 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 pylon system is not good right now. I I think it's unfinished, and it's just not adding to the enjoyment of the game. To be honest. So now what I'm probably going to have to do is go from here. So we are going to go there. And then there. And then I, why, th that's literally the power station right over there. Okay, are you happy now? Okay, and then connect this one to that one. See, it doesn't even want to allow me to connect it. That's really... Like, come on. Because you have to connect it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you see. All of these over here now say that they aren't connected with these this little icon over here. 
So why doesn't it want to connect? It should just connect. Because there's a power station over there, or a substation over there. Substation over here, and I I obviously want to connect them. Like, that's really stupid. Really, really stupid. Now, probably what I'm going to be forced to do is... I have to redraw my entire... Um, pylon system, like, from this direction. So, one there, one there, one there, one there. All the way from this direction, because the game doesn't want to allow me to connect this one over here. Like, even if I maybe place a substation here, I don't think I can connect these two substations. Let's quickly have a look. So connect that one over there. And then connect this one over there. Yeah, see, you can't even do that. You can't even connect two substations with each other. Like even if I do that and then over there. Okay, there we go. Now it wants to do it. Why didn't it want to do it previously? You see, I can't connect this one over there. I can't connect this one over there. But I can connect this one over here. Like why? Okay, let's delete that one. Um... Delete that one. Not because of the collision de detected, because I can literally. Okay, let's try this over there and then. Okay, there we go. So I think building the substation over here fixed the bug, whatever bug there was. Okay, so now. It's connected all the way over here, and now this area will have electricity. There we go. The yellow areas have electricity. So, um, I still need to cover quite a bit of my my uh, my base still. This entire area over here doesn't have electricity yet, so I'm in the process of... Um, connecting more substations like i said the game didn't used to have this power mechanic in the game and now it has so now if i want to continue to play on this um this map which i definitely do then i am forced to connect everything with power lines and the substations and all of that kind of stuff there's another another substation over here so we can maybe go from here the the generation of the the pylons are is also not good like you see there's two two pylons one year and then one year but if i go back like that then it removes one of the pylons you see two pylons and then i go back and forwards then there's only one pylon so you can manipulate the pylon generation system like when you get two pylons like that you just go back and forward and now there's only one pylon so like i say the entire pylon system is not uh, really uh, fleshed out right now there are bugs in the system and um, on top of that like I said I just don't like the entire system it's just not adding enjoyment to the game in my opinion so where is that one over there okay Now, all of these are going to give me problems 
I can't go over them. So I'm gonna have to go over here probably. And then over here maybe. I can go over here as well. Wow, that one generates a new pylon very quickly. But the furthest I can go is probably like there. We're almost there. And there we go, that one is connected. Let's check the grid again. Not activated yet, it should should come online in just a second. Because I have the game running at a very, very, very slow speed, um, it takes a while for things to update. Okay, where's my next substation? Okay, there's one over here. So I'm probably going to want to take these power lines over here to the right side and then to the left. Yeah, that one over there. So I can take these power lines over the farmland. At least it can go over the farmland. All, all of this is farmland. Like I have a huge amount of farmland. This and 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 this. It's farmland. All of this is farmland. All of that is farmland. All of this over here as well is farmland. So all of this. You can't build on the farmland, but fortunately you can build the power lines on the farmland so they allow you to build power lines on farmland which normally they don't allow you to build anything on farmland that's why i need to get over there where was it over there yes And then as soon as we have everything connected, then we can actually start playing the game again. Okay, over there. go that one is connected now let's check our progress okay so this one is online now this one over here to the right should come online in just a second you can see we're making good progress probably 30 percent of our city is already covered well we also we are also gonna have to cover this on the right side over here Let's see, where else did I build some of these? Over there. So it's directly to the left of this one. And uh, just like in City Skylines, you get um, different tiers of buildings. So like you um you get um 
in engine well you get you get uh, citizens or civilians i'm not sure what they're called then you get like um artisans and then you get like professionals like there's different levels of um citizens in the game let's see does it show here yeah, it, it starts out with craftsmen. Those are the lowest tier of of your city population. Okay, the game is saving now. So craftsmen is like the the level one base civilians that you start with. And they don't add a lot to um your income. Uh, because the higher your your people go in the the um here that they are the more money they pay you and obviously the better buildings they they live in and all of that kind of stuff so you get uh, craftsmen employees engineers uh, managers even though that's spelled incorrectly managers and then investors so right now investors is the highest I don't know if you get something after investors. It, it's possible that you get something after investors, but uh, I'm not sure. But investors and managers live in these tower blocks over here. And then you will see over here I have some smaller, smaller cities. Like it's not as big as the other ones. So they are just like apartment complexes. And then in between you will see your uh, offices and stuff like that. And then these are just normal houses. So um uh you can see once again it's really detailed like you, you can see the people actually sitting in the houses and having parties and trampolines and pools and all of that kind of stuff their cars it's really really detailed so even though we are we are gonna play 95 percent of the game at this level like you can zoom in any time you want and just look at the people walking around and all of that kind of stuff but right now like i said i I'm, i have the game at on the slowest speed setting possible while i'm building my electrical grid um but yeah you get different levels of people and the higher levels the the, the higher tier they are the more income you get from them okay there's another one over here and another one over there. So I'm probably going to link that one to that one. But like, like I already said, like I'm 16 hours into the game and I have a lot of playtime on City Skylines. I actually have to check quickly. Let's see. City Skylines. Uh, these. I also recently played and reviewed City Skylines 2, but it's absolute dog shit. Uh, City Skylines 1, I have 231 um, hours of playtime. Um, I can show you guys over here. So as you can see there, so the skylines, 231 hours of playtime in City Skylines. So um, I have quite a bit of time in, in City Skylines. And uh, even though I have that amount of playtime in City Skylines, I can already tell you that after about... 17 hours with this game i think i'm at 17 hours now more or less yeah 17 hours you can see there i've spent 17 hours on on, on this map alone so 17 hours and three minutes i can already tell you this game is better than city skylines like even though like i say there's nothing wrong with city skylines it's just a very very expensive game um but this game is better and this game only costs 30 dollars which so the skylines costs like 200 dollars so this game is just much better much cheaper 
and they've just improved with a huge amount of stuff um, in, in this game over the, the skylines which is really really good because as i said even for this game to be half as good as city skylines is you need to remember that city skylines has a significant time advantage because the game has been available for much longer and it has a significant monitor monetary advantage as well because the studio behind city skylines has been milking uh, the DLCs for a very very long time and that company definitely has many 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 millions of dollars um, so the fact that a small indie game small indie company like this can even come close to making a game that is as good as City Skylines but it isn't even as good it's better than city skylines like i said that is just really to be commended and like i said this game has the best tutorial of any game that i've ever played it yeah. has a fully voiced tutorial and the voice no, apart from just the voice the instructions is just like the best that i've ever seen step by step instructions step by step voice dialogue like it's just really the best tutorial that i've seen of any game ever okay so that one is covered that's covered i'm not over here yet but i will build over there eventually um after i've done all of this i will still get um notifications on buildings that do not have power so we will then be able to see a lot better which ones have power and which ones don't have power after we've connected all of these okay so there's one over here Okay, collision detected now this is an issue because i'm i'm not sure if i will be get be able to get out of this at all because all of these buildings are tall they're the tall type of building so i'm not going to be able to build outside of this at all which once again is an issue with the the design of the pylon system right now so i am forced to destroy this one because i i can't build there it's literally impossible for me to build there and then i'm gonna have to build over here let's see yeah i guess this isn't too bad now all of these buildings are these tall bloody types of buildings even, even that one is that small one holy hell Okay, so I have to go past that one as well. Seriously, this is really irritating. This they, they made the placement of the pylons just far too obtuse, in my opinion. Right, that one is connected. 
And then there's another one down here. This one is also not like I can't build over these bloody buildings. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. Stop making my life difficult. There we go. You're connected now. Hey, our coverage is starting to look good. Okay, over here I definitely need coverage. All of this the rest is totally fine. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna have to put one over there. Okay, so I definitely need one here. There's a small chance that it would miss those buildings here. Unfortunately, it doesn't highlight the buildings if it actually misses the building. So just to be safe, I'm going to place it like that. Like it should ideally show you like in green and and red, for instance, or blue, green and red or something like that. It should show the coverage. Um, just to make it as evident as it can be, but unfortunately it uh, it doesn't do that. We can bring the power from here all the way over here, or just from here to here. I think we're going to do from here. And another thing that I don't like is the fact that these pylons actually take up the ground space that they are placed on so everywhere where you place a pylon you can't place something like over there for instance so it takes up a block which obviously takes up space in your your uh, your uh, map so not not very good that it's taking up actual space in addition to the fact that like i said it's just really obtuse the the entire um pylon system is just obtuse and it doesn't add enjoyment to the game i really think the game and just be put back to the way that it was without um, this entire electricity system or at least at the very least they should give you the option to not use it you know like I can't remember which game it was um, remember there was a game um like in 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 city skylines for instance um they allow you to opt out of natural disasters for instance because they they understand that some people don't want a a, a realistic or a too realistic experience in these types of games or in any type of game really they don't want a too realistic um experience and this game should be the same 
you know, the developer should give you the option to disable the um, the power grid, you know, because it's just like, I mean, how long now? 40, 45 minutes that I've been busy just designing the power grid for my city, you know. That's 45 minutes that my city has made no progress. Literally no progress. You know, so it's just like, how can that be fun? Like, how can that be enjoyable to the player? And it, it simply isn't, you know, it, it's not enjoyable doing this for 45 minutes when you could have actually been making progress and stuff like that, you know. So, I just think that the developer should give the player the option to not have to deal with this shit. Um, and there they are players who, who want an, a, a, a very um, realistic game, you know, realistic like your people can revolt you know like in in anno for instance i've also played a lot of anno hundreds and hundreds and hours of anno and there's some people who like the idea that your city can revolt against you and all of that kind of stuff but there's people who don't you know there's people who do not enjoy that kind of brutality you know that kind of difficulty in a game and um Unfortunately, right now, this game does not give you a choice, really, with regards to being quote-unquote punished um, in that aspect, you know? I can't build over these. I have to build around them, probably. Like, if they ju just allowed you to have a, a, a toggle, you know, give you a toggle in the options menu or something like that, which then um, allows you to disable the pylon system. I think the game would be much better for it. Because me, personally, would go back to the way that it was. I would go back to playing without this grid system and the pylon system and all of that kind of stuff it just makes the game not as enjoyable as what it was the game was more enjoyable in my opinion before they put this system into the game so let's just clean up this one over here so i'm probably gonna have to place it like here for instance We're almost done with the grid design. Almost, almost. Okay, that one there. We're going to need at least like two or three over here. Uh, I also don't like the fact that you can't zoom out that much. Like, I would actually want to zoom out more than what the game currently allows you to zoom out. Yeah, over there is fine. Now, yeah, let's get this one rigged. Because like, like this, this is the maximum amount that you, you can zoom out. So it's definitely not enough in my opinion. In City Skylines you can zoom out a lot more. And even though you don't play at the maximum zoom level in City Skylines, because literally in City Skylines there's like... Um, 
clouds, you know, there's clouds and shit in your way. Um, so you would never really play on that zoom level. Only an insane person would actually do that. But it's nice to have, you know, it's nice to have the option to play at that level. Okay, that one is done. Okay, game saving again. Like, uh, the game saving time is like 20 seconds. It's not It's not so bad. Like, honestly, uh, you, you can't expect the game to save in whatever, five seconds. When you have a map that is as big as this, many, many different mines and farms and mechanics and traffic and logistics and all of that kind of stuff going on at once so my city is really really big so uh, honestly a 20 second saving time is is not so bad it's honestly not so bad um, it feels bad when you're sitting there staring at the screen for 20 seconds, but honestly, it could definitely be worse. I've played games where, like in Anno, Anno is one e example. If you reach the late game in Anno, like, the saving times become quite crazy. So, it's really not so bad. Okay, those ones over here on the right side seem to be more or less covered, but... I think I'm going to place one like over here. And then one over here to the top. Let me just see here. Yeah, that's not going to be covered. So we are going to have to cover this by doing that, for instance. And then we're going to have to place another one over here to the top maybe over there but let's first rig these ones so this over here is my my gem gem setup right now All of my gem mines are here. I, I don't think I'm doing anything with the gems right now. Actually, I'm just exporting it. So these gems are simply here to be exported. Because you get, obviously, money from exporting. And you can, you can also import if you want to. Uh, let's take that one far as we can over there and then this one we're gonna take up there well first we need to connect this one where was it over there what's the closest So those two are connected. Let's have a look. Now everything should be covered now, finally. I don't think there's a single spot. Oh, a little bit over here, but we can deal with that later when we expand in that direction. 
little bit over here but we can deal with that later little bit over here but it's not so bad uh, i can even maybe just put a small one over here you get these smaller electrical substations you can maybe do that just like that yeah this building is a very big building so it's definitely gonna give collision there we go that one is solved This is my trading port. All of these are uh, trading. Like there's many of them. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trading ports. Each one gives you a certain amount of slots, like trading slots. I can actually show you guys. When you go over here, these are all of the things that I'm currently either importing or exporting, even though i'm i'm exporting almost everything i don't think there's a single thing that i'm actually importing right now the red one what does the red mean um i can't remember the the uh stuff exactly but anyway, like gems, I'm selling gems. Gems is a big income earner. We can actually see your um, overview. So you can see your the revenue and then the expenditure. Now, I have a lot of expenditure on jewelry. As you can see, a massive amount of my money is going towards jewelry but we should actually also be i think the jewelry actually makes a part of the gem mines the gem mines as well so these are my expenditures and then the gem mines if you actually go over here to gems i don't think i'm making jewelry yet i'm, I'm only getting uh gems the gems that i'm selling like how do i actually see that hmm, i can't actually remember but like i'm selling all of my gems like literally selling everything and you can see here each time there is a trade i get nine million 10 million, 7 million, 9 million, 7 million. So the the money that I'm making, I'm getting like 10 million each and every time that there's a trade. So even though my 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 books on the on the books, it only looks like I'm it actually looks right now as if I'm going backwards with 3.7 million each um, each cycle. I'm going backwards one uh, 3.7 million but this does not take into account my trading because as you see my trading I'm getting 10 million each cycle so um, if you take that 10 million minus the 3.75 million I'm still getting 7 million per cycle and right now I have uh, 1.3 well 1.03 billion so that is not bad at all my money is literally over a billion and that's a lot of money like honestly a couple hundred is a lot uh, a couple hundred million is a lot but a billion once you start reaching a billion like you can build literally anything you want okay, so let's see i also should build on this other side as well even though i haven't really built anything over the, there yet to be honest okay so all of this is covered nice 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 then oh i actually built some uh, 
mines over there. So can I build it over here? Yes, that will cover it, but I should probably rather build one here and then one there. That will just be better, I think. Yeah, just like that is fine. And then, like I said, we also need one over here, definitely. Just like that. So then we take the pylons from here. The fact that you have to manipulate the pylons like that, you have to manipulate the game into giving you as little pylons as possible, uh, that is irritating, to be honest. And that one is sorted. Uh, you can't take the pylons <coughs> across the... Uh... Oh, you can take them across the water. Okay. You, you can't take them too far across the water, but you can apparently a certain distance. Let me just take a drink here because my throat is a little bit uh, stuffed. People don't realize, but talking for an hour on 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 end like a, a hour at once not uh, not very good on your throat i mean i'm not gonna make out as if being a content creator or a review or a reviewer is difficult you know i've done corporate jobs probably close to 20 years of my life working in in corporate it mostly so i know what the fuck difficult is you know this is not difficult but it does take concentration that's for certain so i'm just going to connect this last one and then we can actually start playing the game but at least hopefully you guys have learned a little bit about the game so far and uh, learned about its little niggles and foibles. Okay, so that should be it then. Uh, these are quartz. These are also quartz. They they cost a lot to upkeep. What's this? Oh yeah, offices. I need to build um, offices and um, just general housing uh, over on this side because these are fine. These are fine. They're not 100% fine, but they're fine because I built offices literally right here. But now I need to upgrade these so that they become offices because um, uh, similar to City Skylines, only certain people work in certain jobs. So, for instance, on the, on the farmland, I think it might show us it's not showing us what type of people work here but um it, it's just your your level one uh, craftsmen so craftsmen work on the farm and then obviously once you get to higher level stuff like breweries and stuff like that require better better higher level people you know like engineers, employees, managers, and investors, you know? Investors work in banks. You get banks and um, investment firms and stuff like that. Okay, so our electricity is now finally fixed. Yeah, that's totally fine now. I can start expanding on this side. I just recently bought this one. This... This... Um, the final block well it's not the final block but this block over here you can see it's completely empty so far so i need to uh, 
still decide what I'm going to do there. I actually need to look at the resources. Um, okay, so gems. Oh, there's gems over there. Gems is very good. L there's lithium over there, but there's also lithium over here. Do I have any lithium um, extractors? I'm not even sure. I can't remember which extractors I have and which I don't have. There's gold over there at the top. There's gold over here, even though I have a shitload of gold extractors over here as well. But I guess you can't have too much gold since I'm literally just going to um, um, export whatever I don't use, you know, so... Anytime you find lithium or gold or anything like that, you're going to be exporting it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, the game has a lot of different resources. As you can see, limestone. Uh, okay, the game is saving again. Uh, there's copper. There's quartz. There's wood. There's coal. There's clay. There's gold. Uh, I think that one is titanium. There's gems, yes, titanium, gems, lithium, iron. Yeah, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 resources. And I think in in addition to that, there's also, that, that doesn't even include the, the products that you can make. Um... Where can I actually see the products? Oh. Come on. No, I can't see now. But you can you can make products as well. Um, and now the this number over here should go down. Because that's actually the number of unhappy people. So the number should go down now. Oh, no, wait, that's a number of population. Okay, yeah, that's a number of population currently in the area. But the, the frowny face, I need to change that frowny face so that they're happy. You can see these people are very happy, 92%, 100%, 90%. But I don't have all of the necessary um, materials and stuff to keep these uh, managers and investors quite happy yet. They they require stuff like um, chilies, chilies from the farms, and jewels, and stuff like that. You know, high-level consumer um, goods and stuff like that. Um, how's my electricity actually looking? Okay, electricity generation, 4 million kilowatts. And electricity consumption, 2.5. So that's still fine. I'm totally fine with that. Um, I get all of my electricity from the wind turbines. I don't think I have a single... Yeah, I have three small solar plants. And I have 93 offshore wind turbines. And I have one nuclear power... Uh, generator i think it's with this one over here yes nuclear power station i have one of those um but yeah my my city is entire, entirely uh pollution free so if you go to the pollution you can see no pollution whatsoever from my electricity obviously the farms and the the industrial stuff over here do generate pollution but the pollution doesn't actually negatively affect your your buildings. It only negatively affects your city and 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 your your people. So, like these people over here are getting a little bit of air pollution. That's not good. I should uh, have built these buildings more to the left so that my city doesn't get air pollution. But anyway. The rest of it is totally fine. These guys aren't getting very much air pollution at all. Only six. The maximum that it can go to is 100, I think. Yeah, like here it's 90. So, um, getting six is not bad at all. 
and then these are just industrial stuff over here so so all of this over here is my population and they're not getting hardly any air pollution whatsoever these guys over here are getting a little bit of air pollution which isn't super good these guys over here are getting uh air pollution which isn't super good um but but overall my city is very well designed in that i don't give my people pollution these guys over here aren't getting any these guys here at the bottom is getting a slight amount of air pollution but yeah overall um not very much air pollution at all um okay so basically i need to just make sure that everything is on the up and up I, I, I'm not creating a lot of ferrocrete. Ferrocrete is a very high level um, building material. Like you see, like this nuclear power station, that used 384 ferrocrete. So that was a very, very expensive building, this one over here. Not a lot of them use, use um, that stuff. Tidal power station, haven't unlocked that yet. Fusion power plant. Actually, what do I need to unlock? Employees. Okay, so I need I need uh, more employees and I need more investors. Then I can go to the next city level. This game, just like how City Skylines has city levels, this game also has city levels. Um, so basically that just involves building more buildings like these these regular um housing buildings i guess i can say that's that's really all that it involves um so these guys you guys are happy need more electricity why do you need more electricity How don't you have enough electricity? Uh, let's see here. Electricity. So it's 12. So... What? Must I build more? Or, or what's the reason why you're complaining about the electricity? Like all of these give 10. You can see over there it says 10, 10, 10. I mean, I could build another one and just see what happens. So that one over there is 12. But they're asking for 73. 70 bloody three. How can you ask for that much? Each, each one of these only gives 10. I'm not sure what that number means. Like that number over there. I'm not sure what that actually means. I mean, we can build another one of these and just see what it does. If if they're happier. Let's try that. So, just build another one. And then let's see. Okay, so what's the electricity level now? 15. So it went up by a little bit. But you're still asking for a hilarious amount of electricity. Like this is the electricity coverage. It's not actually like, like I have more than enough electricity. You can see there. Electricity consumption, electricity generation. I've more than enough. Oh, gl 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 electricity grid reserve. Oh, so it, it differs actually. A 
okay. Well, let me build a little bit more electricity then. I can totally do that. Um, I just want to see... So this one gives... One million. Literally. One million. And it costs... Um, 26,000. This one gives 25... So 26,000, so that's times 10, times 20. So what's 20 times 25,000? 10 times, so that will be 500,000. So this will give 500,000, whereas this gives 1 million. Or the same price. But this um, exudes um, pollution. And it requires employees. This doesn't require any employees. And it doesn't exude any um, pollution. So yeah, the, the offshore wind turbines are a little bit more expensive, but they don't require any employees and they don't generate any pollution. These are not bad. Um, they're cheaper than the the wind turbines, but they require a lot of employees. So I'm probably not going to do that. I think that the tidal power station that I'm going to unlock eventually is, is going to be really nice, but for right now, I just have to uh, deal with what I can. Uh, I, I almost don't even have any more space for wind turbines, to be honest. Like, I've built so many wind turbines, it's not even funny. Can I build them here? I'm not even sure. I remember that I have to leave some gaps because the bridges, you can't build a bridge through these. You need to leave a gap. Okay, but let's see. Nope. Nope. The game does not do a good job of telling you where you can and can't build. And there we go. I can't build over there. You can see this entire river I have already built to the max basically. Now I need to purchase this block above me so that I can build more. Yep, can't do any there. Uh, this is going to ger generate noise pollution, but it's not... The range of the noise pollution is very little, to be honest. Why can't I build here? 
Like seriously, the game does a very bad job of actually telling you why you can and can't build in certain places. Like seriously. Why can't I build here? I can build there. You can see I can build there, but I can't build anywhere here. It's not, not allowing me. Okay, so there's a limit. Uh, let's see, how uh, how much will it cost to buy a new place? Um, how do you actually build a new place? I can't even remember. I think you go to the... Um, what's what's the name of the bloody place? I remember there was like a city hall. Tax office? No. Books. Okay, you want books apparently. Apparently I have to make some books. Okay, the game is saving again. I remember there was a city hall. I just need to find the city hall. I think maybe you can build, uh, buy new, um, new places there, I think. problem is finding the bloody city hall i remember i built it here at, at the start because this was the the start of my city planning office no all of these areas like this area over here that you see um those are um auras they they give an aura um as a certain aura so some of them um give cheaper cheaper rent some of them give lower resource consumption you know stuff like that so there's various buildings that you can build that um give give passive benefits to uh the buildings around them i don't remember with a bloody um Portals, where the uh what you call it is this is laws you can also implement laws if you want to um right now i literally just have one law and that's legalized gambling that brings in four hundred thousand dollars every cycle you can also subsidize certain stuff uh, you can apply for a loan stuff like that um you can increase and decrease taxes obviously if you want to just like in uh city skylines uh do i have books am i am i selling books oh, i'm not doing any of that you can see how expensive um the gems are like carrots are selling for 210 uh Powell is selling for 266, bricks are selling for 386, fish is selling for 181, and then boom, gems sell for 30,000, gold as well, 30,000, like it is insane, once you actually unlock gold and gems and uh, the, the ferrocrete as well, even though I'm definitely not going to sell the ferrocrete, but then you actually start to get stupid amounts of money like like i, I said a billion dollars uh, that's when you start making big money you also have a research thing even though i already spent almost all of my research points but um you can basically get various upgrades it, it's passive upgrades and you collect the research points through achieving different goals so um reaching 10 billion dollars reaching 160 billion dollars building large city hall uh trading or buying wine trading or buying canned goods trading or buying jewelry 
riding or buying cars, that kind of stuff. And then you get a little bit of research points each time, and then you can spend the research points on all of these different stuff, which just, like I said, gives you uh, passive uh, benefits. Ah, City Hall, there we fucking go. Uh, upgrade, large City Hall, boom. There we go. Definitely want that. We can fast forward the time a little bit. And then, like I said, once you actually unpause the game, you can just see the city come alive. Like, the traffic, it's actual traffic, um, simulation, um, people walking around. Um, you can actually also, with something that is really cool, you can drive a car. So, literally, you can drive around in a car. You, you can't bump into anything, but you can literally explore the game like this. And you can go anywhere where you want. You can drift, you can do handbrake turns. Like, it's just really, really cool. There I got five uh, research points. So you see, like, it's just really, really cool. Uh, this is something that you obviously can't do in uh, City Skylines. And it's just a new way to explore the game, you know? It's a really cool way to explore the game. So that's pretty cool. You could just sit here and just watch the people walking past and all of that. Okay, so I got um, a new research, but I, I only have 30 points. I actually... I can't remember what I want to upgrade. I think it was something over here. So I can't do any of these. And over here. No, I don't want any of those. It's probably going to be over here, which means I need 50. Either 40 or 50 before I can get my next upgrade that I actually want. And then we have a quest over here. Transport goods. Improve the building level. Cement concrete factory. The main concrete factory. Okay, so it's a transport quest. Okay, let's see. Should I turn right here? You see, you get little, little cool quests like this. Stuff that, uh, as I said, City Skylands don't offer. Even though it's not, you're probably not going to be spending a whole lot of time doing stuff like this. It is just really, really cool that they actually allow you to do stuff like this. Oh, okay, I can go right through them. That's cool. So let's do this quest quickly. Bump in the road there for some reason. Another bump in the road for some reason. Look at all of the sheep there on the left side. It's just really cool. You can actually drive around and just look at the sheep, look at the trees, look at the cattle. So we have four more checkpoints. Here's more sheep on our left side. Oh, shit. And that's the final one. Cool. New 
buildings are available. Hey, I unlocked a new building. Okay, how do I go out? Exit. And my population is dropping. Why? Hmm. I'm not sure why my population is dropping. Um, something wrong. Am I missing goods or what's wrong? Mm, I have enough of everything really. My wheat is a little bit low. But otherwise than that I have pretty much enough of everything I think. I don't know why people would be upset all of a sudden. So they're asking need more officers. Okay. Um officers. So do they want very good officers or do they want regular officers? That's the question. Uh, you can also upgrade as far as I can remember. You can also upgrade them. Yeah, so it shows you here. The darker color is the high level officers. The lighter color is the normal of well, the, the mid the mid level officers. And these are the low level officers. So you get low level and then you get high level over here. But you need um, more resources for um, the higher level uh, officers. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So what do I just build it like anywhere or do you need officers in a specific location? Oh, there's a issue here. Okay, so why why aren't you guys getting what you're wanting? Somewhere there's a breakdown in the in the pipeline, uh, in the production pipeline, and now I need to figure out what the issue is. I can build offices. Offices aren't affected by pollution, so that's not too bad. But you do need to remember about um, police. So crime, you need very good crime coverage. And there was something else. Fire, fire coverage, you need very good fire coverage. Yeah, so this doesn't look bad. We can definitely build here. A large office. Let me just have a look here at what these ones want. You see, here's an issue over here needs more workers okay so you guys just want more workers you don't want more offices so that means i should build houses over here and these guys want more offices which means i need more offices they don't want more workers they want more offices these guys want more more workers so i could just build some houses over here but um these guys over here actually want offices. Like these guys, offices. Doesn't say what level of offices, so you can just pretty much do any any level which you 
can afford because these ones take ferrocrete and I literally have only 370 ferrocrete um, so I can only buy, build 10 of these ones which uh, obviously is not a lot we can build a little bit over here maybe Not a whole lot. Just so that they are satisfied. You see that already takes 252 ferrocrete. That's that's all of my ferrocrete. Like where's the biggest office issue? Let's have a look. So there's a pretty big office issue. you guys want offices okay so let's build one block here and then a less um a less um how do you say expensive block there i can't build another one we can build the level 3 complex complexity one. Why can't I build it? Am I but what am I missing? Oh I can build it. It's just for some reason I can't build it literally on the square over here. For some reason it doesn't allow me to build it literally right there. Okay, let's see if they're a little bit more happy with that. It's just really about maintaining the balance of your offices to your, your houses. Because you can't have empty offices, then you get crime. You can't have empty houses, then your offices won't get filled. So you need to have a, a, a balance between them. Like these guys are asking for actual people and these guys are asking for um, uh, offices and people as well. So we can... Yeah, I, I need ferrocrete like a bastard. Where's my ferrocrete? Set up. Ah, yeah, ferrocrete. You see, all of these buildings are ferrocrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 buildings for ferrocrete. But ferrocrete is very, very difficult to make. So you need concrete and you need steel. So where's my steel? Well, where's my concrete, actually? I have a lot of steel, but not a lot of concrete, I think. So, on three, that's flour, I need wheat, I need bread, I need beer, but that's part of wheat. I need books, I need textiles, uh, where's the cement? Or the concrete, at least. Concrete. Okay, so I have no concrete. So, why don't I have any concrete? My concrete just disappeared. Or cement, at least, not concrete. So that takes quartz and limestone and coal. Where are they? They should show up there and there. Cement. 
ports. Okay, is that the issue? Oh, I can actually upgrade these. Should I upgrade all of them? Yeah, I can upgrade them, why not? Do I just have five? No, I still have three somewhere. Where's those three hiding? It's nice that it shows you how many you actually have. Okay, here's one. There's another one and there's another one. Yeah, I can upgrade all of you guys. On level 2, they will produce more and, and consume less. But I still need to fix my worker issue. I have a worker issue. And I have a textiles issue. Textiles are not... Um... Doing good. Where's the bloody textiles? Ah, oh, there we go. So you need... Paint. What's that? That must be a new resource that they recently added because I don't recognize that resource at all. Textiles, sheep. Okay. Color can only be obtained through the trade. Ah, oh, you see there that so they sneakily added color without me realizing it. So now I don't have any color. So now I need to import color. Can I build another? Um, Trading place. Let's have a look. Trading, trading, trading. You see, you can make cell phones eventually. But I haven't reached that stage yet. Uh, you can create a space harbor even though I'm, I'm not quite there yet. I need a lot more cement. 960 ferrocrete yeah that's gonna take a long time where the hell is the trading ah they added an airport as well I should actually build that. Yeah, I definitely should build that. Even though 4,000 employees. That's a crazy amount of employees. Um... Yeah, sure, let's do it. But it's going to make a lot of noise. So we shouldn't place it anywhere near um, population or anything like that. All of this is farmland, so I can't really place it here. I can maybe place it here. Nope. Uh, I can place it here, definitely. Just gonna be yeah yeah should be fine yeah that's not crazy even though it's a little bit out of the way but like i said i can't really build it here because this is like um the noise pollution is going to be really bad 
There's no way I'm going to be able to build it around here. Here, maybe? Come on. Damn it. Rotate. Come on. Oh, that's not bad. Come on. Why are you so finicky? Come on. And let's build it. What's that thing? Oh, is it like an entrance or an exit? Guess it's some kind of a exit or something. Uh, the question is, do I actually need to place it close to my already trading harbor? Because this over here is actually my trading harbor. Hmm, perhaps I should do that. Because all of this is my trading, like my trading hub. Uh, can I rotate you? No, to the other side. I want the fucking thing to be to the other side. Okay, I guess that's fine. We're not gonna get it better than that. Yeah, just like that. Boom. There we go. Our first airport. But I still need... Port. There we go. I think I can only build one more. And I'm kind of out of room over here. Little bit out of room. And I'm really out of room over here. Bloody hell. I need to buy this one if I can. Um, I can't even remember how to buy. I remember you're limited on how, how much you can buy. Like you can't build it. You can't buy everything. Let's have a look here. Um, new land. Oh. Okay, so, uh, do, 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 do. so it's over there that I need seventy three million. Bloody hell! Well, when you when you're counting your money in billions, I guess it's uh, seventy three million is not so much. Okay, boom. Okay. And then that's fine. Boom. There we go. Now I have extra trading uh, uh, slots. So I can import color. Because for some fucking reason... My entire textile industry fell apart because the devs decided to add color into the game. And the only way to get color is by importing it. Which I think is pretty damn stupid, but anyway. Okay, come on, bold, 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 bold. We can also probably extend this road a little bit. What road is this? 300. So is it the 12 lane or the 14 lane? Oh, yeah, it's not that one this one
Okay, there we go. Come on, bold, bold, bold. And then we're gonna need to import um, color. Oh, and I have a quest. Construct new building, two bakeries. For one million dollars. Like, that's nothing. One million is nothing. At least give me a little bit of a bigger reward. One million is absolutely nothing. Because I was wondering, like, why, why are my people unhappy? And as it turns out, they're unhappy because they don't have textiles anymore, because they don't have clothes anymore. And as soon as you lose one of your base resources, like um, one of the, the most required ones, like fish or vegetables or fruit or bread or, or textiles, any of the lower level stuff, then your entire economy is going to come crashing down because they lose happiness and that's literally a requirement like fish or vegetables is a requirement so that's why my economy took a nosedive now even though i'm still good but uh yeah we're definitely gonna have to buy color color how much do we want Uh, let's make it 3,000. Uh, buy. Yeah, so that's buying, that's buying, that's buying. The rest are selling. The green ones are selling, red is buying. And then what else do I want? Uh, books? Where do you get books? Because my people actually asked for books. Is there anything that I can do here? Um. Wow, I have a lot more slots now. Okay, so I can sell some stuff. What, what am I not selling right now? I'm not sure if there's anything that I would want to sell, to be honest. Meat? How much meat do I have? Zero. Okay, so that I need more meat. Now... Eggs? I don't think I even have eggs. Yeah, where the hell did eggs come from? That's another thing that I added to the game. Yeah, all of these that are saying 3000 at least, that is literally the level that I have. So as soon as I go above 3000, they sell. So anything above 3,000 is sold. Um, okay, so you guys said you want book books. Where the holy hell do I get books? Books. Color, once again, you see, that's another reason why I don't have any books because they invented color. The bastards. Uh, 
this as well. No, I don't have a single one of these. Medical Technology Center. 307 Ferrocrete. Holy hell. Okay, but at least my economy will stabilize now. You can see we are at 16 million per cycle right now, which is better than what we were before. And uh, as soon as my textiles start picking up, um, and my bread starts picking up, then um, my people will be very, very happy again. And they should come back pretty soon. So yeah, obviously, like like City Skylines, this game is very much a a balance. You know, it's a very tight ballet and very tight balance of importing, exporting, managing all of your resources, managing the um, demands of your people but also you sh must export as much as you can to to power the economy and all of that kind of stuff so it's uh it's pretty much like i said the same as as uh so the skylines but i just like this game more i'm not a fan of the 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 farm system because the way that farms work is you go over here, and then let's say you want to make a, a vegetable farm. You click on it, and then uh, uh, let's see here. Why can't I place one? Why is there collisions everywhere? Root farm? Why is there collisions everywhere now? Polygon? No. Did they change the way that farms are placed? No, they did not. You see, th that's how the farm works. You see there at the top left, you select a place to put a farm, and then that entire block, literally the entire area, like this entire area, becomes... A farm. I just need to find a square where where there's nothing inhabiting it yet, like this one. So you see, I don't like this system because I I I would like to have the option to only do half of this block as a farm instead of doing the entire one, and they don't give you the option. So I I would like it to if you could desig designate the area where you're gonna gonna do a farm so i'm not a huge fan of the farm system even though it's just a little bit of an irritation it's honestly nothing nothing too bad and uh, then i really don't like the new electricity system even though now we have our entire place powered so it's not an issue now but i still don't like it i i don't like the game being more obtuse than what it needs to be let's do another transport quest i like these transport quests and you get a couple of other quests as well um that's a nice little little thing in the game i like the fact that you can drive around like that's really cool you honestly don't see it in nearly enough games you know um, it's just nice. It's not necessary, but it's just nice that you can do these kinds of things. It, it reminds me of um, uh, uh, Jurassic World Evolution, the game. Uh, 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 a very good game. The, the first one is a very good game. The second one is not, not so good. But uh, in Jurassic World Evolution, they also allow you to drive around they allow you to um control a helicopter and fly around in a helicopter and stuff like that uh, not a lot of games do that you know in 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 like the city builder genre especially like uh 
Jurassic World Evolution is a city builder as well. This game is obviously a city builder. And I just like the fact that they allow you to do that. It adds a little, a little nice thing to occupy your time with, you know? New buildings available. And like I said, this game has the best tutorial that I've ever seen from any game ever. It's really that good. The best tutorial ever. Um, but yeah, the electricity system, I don't like it. I wish they didn't implement the electricity system. Or at least they should give you the choice to not do the, the, the electricity system. That would be better. But otherwise, like honestly, like I said, the game is thirty dollars, and if you if you compare the price against City Skylines, this game is like like bloody fifteen percent the price of City Skylines because City Skylines costs two hundred dollars, so it's really really ridiculous um, that this game costs. $30 and it's better than City Skylines like really it might not have the amount of content that City Skylines has right now but City Skylines has been around for eight years or something like that and this game has only been around for maybe a year year and a half it only recently released out of early access um, so you can't really expect the game to have the same amount of content that city skylines does you know but give this game another year or two or three and the the game is already better than city skylines but once the developers actually have you can even see the reflection of the road name in the building that's really nice uh, once the game actually has enough time to um, you can even see people on top of the buildings. Enough time to, to get more content, you know. Then this game is just going to be un unbeatable. Like, really. Um, I just hope that the these developers don't go the same way that the scum developers of um, the Skylines went. Because the Skylines, the... Um, monetization of city skylines is in my opinion immoral so um, I hope that these developers don't do that um, as well you know they don't go that route with the um, the monetization of this game but yeah like right now I can totally recommend the game and uh, it can only get better from here the game only recently released but it can only get better you know give this game some time and it's gonna blow city skylines out of the fucking water especially now with city skylines 2 that they released and city skylines 2 isn't even close to being as good as city skylines 1 so it just shows you how stupid the developers of City Skylines are. They, instead of making City Skylines one, City Skylines one better, they instead wanted to cash in on another, uh, I think forty dollars, whatever City Skylines two costs. They just wanted to cash in on another uh, forty dollars from all of their player base, um, and they created an inferior product. It, it's inferior to City Skylines 1 and it's definitely inferior to this game. So this game is already better than City Skylines 2. Um, so yeah, don't even think about buying or playing City Skylines 2 because this game is so much better. Hey, we haven't even collected these ones yet. Ah, my engineer satisfaction is up to 98%. So we are... We are getting back on track with regards to the um, satisfaction of my city now that um, my textiles are are up and running again. Because the developer sneakily added a new resource to the game. 
but uh, yeah i think i am done for today i pretty much gave you guys my opinion on the game i will be playing the game more as i told you guys i already have 18 hours on this map alone so i'm definitely going to play the game more absolutely i am um, but i am just going to um, put the game on hold for a little while um i want them to fix a couple of the the issues like the the power stuff and that kind of stuff um but uh, yeah i just have many more other games that i need to play and need to review before i can really just sit down and crank out another 18 hours of this game you know uh, i have i have games that i need to review before i can just sit down and play more games for a longer period of time um so yeah guys that is pretty much it i can definitely recommend the game i will put a link to the game steam page in the description below so check it out if you want to and uh, yeah that is pretty much it uh, as always if you guys want to support the channel you can head over to patreon.com forward slash lfp that's it thanks a lot for watching and i will see you guys next time